So it's me again. Um, just thought I'd quickly cover the first seven days of an Achilles tendon rupture. So there's probably lots of things out there on the internet that you can go and look at which will tell you all the factual stuff and the nitty gritty of what happens when you rupture your tendon and the medical treatments and all that. So I just thought I'd give you an idea what you can look forward to um, in the practicalities of your first seven days. I'm on day nine, um, so I had a fun first seven days. Uh, first thing, crutches. Um, they are not as easy as they look, and even though it's fun when you're young to borrow someone else's crutches and have a play with them, it's not the same when one of your legs doesn't work properly. Uh, first thing is practice, practice, practice. Um, I can't do any gymnastics with them at the moment and I have nearly fallen over several times. Um, luckily my natural reaction was to put my bad foot out to catch myself um, which is excruciatingly painful so I wouldn't advise that for anyone. Um, your crutches are your best friends, uh, don't let children or friends steal them otherwise you will uh, be stuck wherever you are or trying to crawl around um, but crawling around when you've got a half cast on which you may have for the first week um, is not that easy and can be uncomfortable so keep practicing um, don't just sit on the sofa until you need to move because you're so desperate for the toilet you have to uh, it's good motivation but you won't get any better on your crutches uh, overconfidence, I got overconfident, hence I've slipped a few times. Uh, stairs and steps are lethal. The advice would be to go up and down those stairs on your bum. Um, when I'm in a hurry or can't be bothered to go up on my bum, I do go up and down on my crutches. This has resulted in me nearly falling over backwards down the stairs a couple of times. Uh, thankfully, I haven't done yet, um, but uh, I should probably be a bit more careful and not rush up and down the stairs and be overconfident on the crutches. Um, the rubber bits on the bottom are brilliant um, for gripping to most floors, but if the floor is wet or uh, something has been spilled on the floor, or dropped on the floor, that they, they slip. So uh, just, just watch where you're going. And uh, keep practicing on the crutches. If you're overweight, unlucky. Um, human body's really heavy to lift up. Um, I'm 15 stone, which tips me a bit over what I should be, and it's hard work. Um, take deodorant. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, new best friend. Take deodorant everywhere you go, because lifting yourself up down on crutches, it makes you sweat. Um, unless you're lucky, you will stink um, if you've got to go around a lot of different places on crutches throughout a day. Um, so just keep going with that. Um, on that note, <laughs> try to have some sort of um, shower, or don't forget about a bath, because uh, you can't get your calves wet. But try to have a shower, that's an uh, interesting one. You can buy lots of expensive things off, um, off Amazon to, uh, to cover your cast, and then still have a shower. But bin bag and um, packaging tape, much cheaper and works really well. Uh, just put your bin bag over your leg, packaging tape all around it, at the top all around the skin press it down so you've got a nice good seal uh, fine I haven't, I haven't got the plaster wet once um, not in the plaster cast anymore so that's nice um, I'll show you the alternative at some point um, anyway um, I'm gonna go get some Clexane to show you that so hopefully you can sort of see here this was my setup for um, for showering last week uh, I used one of the kids chairs and then just kind of shuffled my bum onto the side and was able to lift my legs round and, uh, and get in the shower, well sit on the shower seat and use the um, handheld shower thing to sort myself out. Uh, that seemed to work really well. What I've got here, so if you tick all the boxes, you get rewarded with a, um, one of these every day, which is Clexane. So I'm not gonna do this now because um, maybe you don't like needles and also it's not time for it. So the end, this end, we have a little grey end. This pulls off, makes a nice clunk when it does. Um, it reveals a needle, which you then shove into your, um, carefully, into the fat of your stomach. So then you press the plunger and the Clexane goes into your stomach. Uh, this is, uh, it stings a bit, it's uncomfortable. Uh, just the very act of shoving a needle into your stomach isn't very friendly. Um, it's supposed to go into fat. 
So if anyone does uh, have an incredibly ripped stomach with no fat, unlucky. <laughs> I don't know how well that's gonna work. Um, and I don't really care because you're ripped and you have a flat stomach. Um, luckily, I do have some belly fat on me, so it's not too bad. Um, it bruises a bit, but you kind of get used to it after a week. Um, if you're unlucky like me, you will tick the boxes to continue taking it for another 56 days. Um, just get used to it because it's better than a blood clot. Okay. Your sofa will become your best friend. Um, your cat, if you have one, may not. Um, also, remote control, always handy. Um, and a mobile phone, of course. Uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all those box sets um, you always wanted to watch. Um, you don't really want them to be in a DVD player, so uh, if you haven't got a subscription already, you should probably get one. Um, but it will consume your day just watching rubbish on Netflix, Amazon Prime, watching crappy YouTube videos. Um, this will become incredibly depressing. The first few days, um, it's quite nice. Um, and then it just becomes a daily grind of, what shall I do? I'll watch another box set. Um, this will get boring. Um, enjoy the first seven days of it. And then I would suggest you find something else to do, like make rubbish YouTube videos. Um, Enjoy, keep yourself busy. People will want to help you. Um, they will also think you're disabled in every possible way, um, which clearly you're not. You just can't get around as well as you could. Um, I've had people holding doors open for me and trying to take the keys off me to open the doors. Um, I can still use my hands. They do still work. So um, I would suggest you make that very clear to them, um, but politely, because it's nice that people help you and sometimes you will actually need them. So don't alienate everybody by being an arse, um, which I probably can be at times. So um, good luck with your first seven days of your uh, Achilles tendon. Um, find something to do, because if you don't get in a nice routine, um, you've probably got another uh, seven weeks of this, <laughs> so potentially, depending on what kind of work you do and whether you can go back to work with a boot or um, full cast on. So uh, good luck, enjoy.